Here we are on Project 334, or in other words, Holder's Boulder. We just got the block back from having the cylinders board and the mains line home. Uh, I had my machinist stop at the point after he line honed it and bored the cylinders where I can barely fit the piston in. Uh, He's very thoughtful, he's a great guy, and he uh, kind of looked out for me because he said, dude, uh, the cylinder bores, I got them to fit, but it's going to scratch the pistons, which he was correct. So he just barely kissed it because these Keith Black hyper eutectic pistons run about a two and a half thousand. So that's where I'm putting it at, point oh oh two five. Uh, they say you can even run them tighter, but, you know, this is going to be on a boat motor or a high-performance motor with a lot of cylinder pressure. I'll go for that extra half thousandths clearance. So we're going to have 0025, and I got to, uh, now I got to see if I got to take the grinder, grind the crank, the connecting rods, put the pistons in, do all the prep work and get it. And, you know, normally on most motors, I don't go to near the detail. But uh, I, I don't do many boats, so I kind of pick. I'll say, you know what, let's go ahead, mainly for y'all to show you. And look, this is something you're not going to pay nobody to do. It's for you DIY guys. They ain't got nothing to better do, have no personal life, <laughs> right? And what I do is I take my die grinder, put a ball, and I'm going to go in here. And I'm going to grind the entire intersection out. And I'm going to grind this entire section out right here. So that any area where oil is going to go through, it's going to go faster. But it's also going to get the first layer of uh, cast iron off of it. And that's just one of the things I do. I do not believe in spraying uh, the electrical motor winding or the glip tall in a block. The only way I do it on the heads is if I get the heads perfectly blasted and clean and then the heads are heated up to about 200 degrees where I can apply the heat to it, I'll do it then. Other than that, everything is done with a die grinder. It takes a lot more work, but it takes all the casting flash out. So, you know, if there's any irregularities, uh, it's going to be down to bare metal. But uh, there is also probably more theoretical than anything else. If you go in here with your grinder and you bring everything down to bare metal, then if there's any areas where there might be a light surface crack, this right here stops it. So there is actually a reason, but, you know, over the years, I've, I've never seen any of them bust and crack as a result of not doing this. So I'm not saying it's totally a cosmetic thing. If you ask me why I'm doing it, I'd say, number one, to show you all my readers. And if you got some time and you just want to make it something perfect, this is it. But number two is the quick oil return because it does do that. Going in here and blending it, do that, will bring the oil back to the pan super fast. So anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and start the procedure. My son is going to come in here. I've been... Uh, working with him over the past year, getting his hand talent down, and uh, he wanted to come in here and grind all this, so we're going to go step by step and uh, show you exactly what we grind, because it ain't just going to be the valley, we're going to open the oil holes, oil passages, I've got a lot of stuff to show you on the prep work before any of the major machine work gets done, other than of course the line hone and boring two and eight and one and seven so we can do four corner mock-up to get zero deck all right anyway we'll continue on when my son comes out here and there we go uh what we're doing right now is anthony's getting ready to do the valve guide uh or, or, or the valley of the lift bores to so that way oil will have a quick return down to the block He'll do this using two different burrs. One of them is going to be a half inch egg. The other one will be a three eighths. And the reason we use two is because we use the big one to hit as much cross sectional area as we can get. And then the smaller one gets in the cracks and crevices. We're not using a lot of pressure doing this because we're not trying to alter shape. 
But what we're in effect doing is getting all of the loose casting and everything out of the block because you wouldn't believe how much I've seen where if somebody didn't do this, uh, pieces of the casting of the block gets down and gets into the oil pump and then we all know what happens there. So let's get a little bit closer look before we start. Pretty much everything, the, there's the back oil galley holes. Anthony's going to go all the way up. Get all the casting all the way to the front and get everything around the lifter galleys and this is going to alleviate a whole lot of it. Um, Anthony, you got any comments on it before you start? No. Nope. Alright, so anyway, I'll go ahead and let you get started and let you have that. See, um, thanks to my son Anthony, all the, he got all the grinding done inside the block, <clears throat> the entire lifter galley. Now, as I mentioned, I do it for several reasons. I don't do engines very much. I'm a cylinder head guy. But when I do one, I like to do it right. Now what I'm doing right now is I'm tapping the oil return holes for these, um, I believe they call them uh, pipes. They're um, windage pipes or whatever. But it goes in all these holes where the oil drains back into the motor. And what you're trying to do with this is keep oil from dropping down on the cam and getting in the way of the crankshaft, which is windage. It's, it's a horsepower thing, really. And we're after every little bit with this little 334 motor that we can get our hands on. So we went to a lot of trouble on oil pan selection, windage tray, uh, crank kick out, and all that. So this right here is actually part of the oil and system tricks. And to do this, it's real simple, but it takes two or three times each time. I've already got a few threads on this. So what you have to do to get it right is you go down in here. This is a 3 8 um, This is a 3 8 pipe tap. Let me get you in there a little bit better. Okay, and you just do a little bit at a time, and you got to keep going back and forth and checking till you get it the right uh, depth that you want it. All right, I went pretty good that time, about three or four threads. Then I'll take it out. All right, I always try to blow my threads a little bit. And then go back in there, because I want it to see, there's a little bevel, and I want it just to begin to seat right there on it. These, these are, uh, have hex heads in the center for tightening down. Wow, I just about got that one where I want it. Just another turn. Like I said, you want to get it right there when it starts to go into that bevel and that blocks it off, which I'm almost there right now. Now once you do the first one, uh, you can take a marking pen and mark on the threads where you're at. and You're going to know that you can go about halfway down. It's the first one that you're setting up that you gotta be a little careful of because you don't want to go crazy here. Alright, that right there ought to do it. I'm gonna go ahead and take a marker and I'm gonna mark it so I can see. Alright, just take a red marking pen. Now I'm going to back it off and then I'll go down a notch. Okay. Alright, now I got a little red mark that'll lock down. 
blow out my thread. Then I'm going to take and go in here and run this down, and this time it'll be about where I want it. There's eight total of these. It don't take very long to do it, but it's just doing these little things like this to the block. I will put screens on the back of the block. I don't use epoxy. I'll have to drill holes and put me some sheet metal holes in there. I'm not a big fan of that epoxy on this stuff, so... All right, that right there is it. There'll be eight of them stand pipes up here, and I'll have the little bitty screens right here covering the uh, oil galley, so in case something happens to the top, it falls down in the block, there won't be nothing um, to get in the way. All right. Wow, that hurt. <laughs>